Hey guys, welcome to another edition of What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande, and today we're cooking some Trinidad style pepper shrimp. Now here are our ingredients. Now you can see some shrimp. This is about five pounds of shrimp. Now I also have some green seasoning, so some fresh shadow bendy, fresh bandana chopped up on top. Um, we have some of the green seasoning that I made from the last video. That's about a tablespoon, or maybe about two teaspoons. Um, we have green onions, black pepper, salt, fresh sea salt, tomato ketchup, soy sauce, sesame oil, two cloves of garlic, one hot scotch bonnet pepper, as well with the green seasoning, if you can see right here, I have about half of uh, scotch bonnet pepper chopped up. Um, we have one whole yellow, green, and red pepper chopped up, two tomatoes, one large uh, Spanish onion, half of that chopped up. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and throw all the seasonings together. So I'm gonna put the black pepper, the salt, sesame oil, soy sauce, and the green seasonings, and mix that up with the shrimp. I have the shrimp, black pepper mixed in with the green seasoning. I'm just gonna add some sea salt. Now with the shrimp, I've washed and deveined them with lemon juice. Now we're gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. Give it a nice little flavor. It's a little bit much, but it's all good. Now the next thing we're gonna add is some soy sauce and maybe about two, two tablespoons. And one more seasoning I'm gonna add is Chief brand Creole seasoning. Gives it a nice uh, flavor. Add a little bit of that into it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this up. I'm just gonna make this up quickly with my hand and get all the seasoning into it. Now depending on how long you're cooking, I mean if you gotta cook this right away, then go ahead and season and cook it up right away. But if it's gonna take a little while, I would suggest you know leave it in the fridge overnight, you'll get maximum flavor, or leave it in the fridge for at least two to three hours. Now I'm also gonna add my fresh garlic. And a little bit of granulated garlic powder. Just throw that on top. And some adobo. Now the adobo I use is by Goya. Gives it a nice all-purpose flavor kind of seasoning. A little bit of pepper, salt. So once we have all those ingredients added, mix it all up one more time. As you can see right here. Once you've mixed it up, let it sit for a little bit and then we'll start cooking. So I have about maybe two to three tablespoons of oil, canola oil in the Dutch oven pot. And you could use any kind of pot. Um, it's your choice. As long as it cooks evenly through, that's the most important thing. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up our oil on medium, and then we're gonna start adding our shrimp. So what we wanna do is we wanna kinda fry the shrimp in the pot, and you can hear that sizzle. And you just wanna fry it for about a minute to two minutes on each side. Essentially what we want to do is get a nice crispiness of the shrimp so when we put it back in the pot with the rest of the vegetables we have a nice consistency with the shrimp, a nice crispiness on the shell. Now one thing I would recommend is when you're using shrimp for pepper shrimp is to use shrimp with either the legs, the head, or but make sure you have the shell on. Like these guys here we have the legs and everything, well these shrimp actually came from Trinidad, but we've deveined them, we've taken the head off, and we've left the legs. I don't know about you guys, but the legs adds a nice little crunchiness, the skin adds a nice little bit of flavor as well. It gives that nice yellow color into the pepper shrimps as well when we're cooking it. So see how it's quickly turning? That's all we want. We just want it to get pink really quick, not all the way through, because we're not cooking it all the way through. We just want to get a nice little crunch, a little fry on the outside. And this is how I cook my pepper shrimp. A lot of people cook their pepper shrimp very differently. Um, this is just kind of the way I've taught myself from seeing different recipes from my mom and friends um, and even other uh, food bloggers. So this is kind of my adapted recipe. Everybody loves it, so I'm not going to change it. So now that we've browned all the shrimp right here, we're going to start adding our veggies in. And the pot's going... Everything's bubbling and you can see some of the seasoning that was there from before from the shrimp some of the shrimp legs It's all good. That's all nice beautiful flavor that we're adding into 
what we're making. So we're gonna cook the onions up. With the onions, we're gonna throw in some of the green onions and that quarter scotch bonnet pepper that we chopped up. And with that, we're also gonna throw in our peppers. Now what we wanna do is let this cook for maybe about five minutes. And in five minutes, what we're gonna do after this is cooked down a bit is we're gonna add our tomatoes and let that cook up. So after five minutes of sauteing these veggies up, we're gonna add our tomatoes. Now, I guess in a way this is kind of like a sofrito um, where you add everything in, you let it cook down together. Um, what we want is the tomatoes to cook down, start releasing some of its juices. We want the peppers to cook down. Everything gets soft, so when we're eating it, it's not super crunchy, like a stir fry. We're eating it where the vegetables are soft and kind of melt in your mouth. And then once this cooks down, it's probably about 15, 20 minutes, then uh, we'll add the shrimp. So one thing I've added to the pot is the scotch bonnet pepper. I'm just gonna leave it in the middle of the pot and let that cook. We want to put the lid on it and we want to get the flavor of the pepper into the vegetables. We'll take it out when we add the shrimp. Once we start creating the sauce for the pepper shrimp, we'll add it back to give the pot itself the flavor, but we don't want to burst it because then it'll be too hot. But if you like it really hot like me, you can go ahead and try that. It's been about 15, 20 minutes and you can see everything's cooking down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the scotch bonnet pepper from the pot and we're gonna add our shrimp. So this is the next step into making the pepper shrimp. So we're just gonna take some of the shrimp from here and just put it in, toss it in with the veggies. So let me just dump this in there. So now that we've added our shrimp, we're gonna go ahead and mix it around with the veggies. Also the seasoning that we use when we season the shrimp, any leftover water or not water, but I would say any leftover seasoning, you want to dump that in there because that has a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor from the green seasoning. So we're going to add that and we're going to mix it up. Now the next step for the pepper shrimp for its signature beautiful red sauce is something that we use a lot in Trinidad, which is ketchup. So I've added, you can see the ketchup and I added about two tablespoons of soy sauce as well. So we're going to dump that in there. Now some people also use cornstarch to thicken it. Um, today I'm not going to be putting cornstarch in there. Now what we want to do is get that ketchup mixed in into the shrimp and we're going to add some water. Once we add some water into here, then we're just going to let it cook and bubble up. The shrimp will cook right through with that tomatoey sauce. Also with the sauce from the veggies. And while we're gonna let that cook, we're also gonna put the scotch bonnet pepper back in. Another thing I'm gonna add is about two tablespoons of crushed pimento. If you don't have uh, blended pimento, you can go ahead and use um, raw uh, pimento peppers. It's the same pimento peppers we use in the green seasoning recipe. Um, what I'll usually do is I'll buy a bunch. Same way I blend up the green seasoning, I'll blend up the pimento peppers, almost like a pepper sauce. But it's not really hot, it's more for the flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and keep on mixing this and we'll add some water. Now, if you're gonna add water, the best thing to do is the same container you use to season the shrimp. Put some water in there because there's still a lot of seasoning left in the container that doesn't come out when you take it out. So that's the best way to get some, add some water and add some flavor into your pepper shrimp. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook. I'm gonna put the pepper back on top and we're gonna cover the lid and check this in about 10 to 15 minutes. So our pot's been bubbling for about 10 to 15 minutes. Periodically I'm stirring it. Uh, the shrimp is pretty much cooked, but you wanna leave it in a little bit longer. We're not overcooking the shrimp, um, but we don't wanna have it undercooked as well. We're trying to cook the shrimp till it's completely cooked, but we also wanna get a lot of that flavor in. Now one thing I will add right before we're almost finished is I'm gonna add two teaspoons, actually one and a half of Old Bay seasoning. You can get that at any of your grocery stores. Old Bay seasoning is really good for seafood. It gives it a nice flavor. So you see I add that Old Bay. Let me just move this pepper before I burst it. Add that Old Bay seasoning in it. And that's kind of one of my secrets 
to my pepper shrimp that makes it taste a little bit different. Um, if you ever do like crab boil or mussels or anything, I always recommend Old Bay with seafood. It's a beautiful flavor. Um, so it gives your pepper shrimp, you know, a different flavor. It makes it different than everybody else's pepper shrimp that you normally taste. Now, if you want the sauce a little bit thicker, you can see the sauce like this. Obviously, it's got to thicken up. If you want a little bit thicker, you can add some more uh, tomato ketchup, or you can as well add some cornstarch. The cornstarch will, you mix the cornstarch in with cold water, um, with a fork and a bowl. Once you whip that up, add it in it, it will uh, give it that nice thick sauce that you normally get if you go to a Chinese restaurant and you get like, um, beef and broccoli or black beans and uh, chicken so add that's up to, it's up to you if you want to go ahead and add the cornstarch but I'm not gonna really add cornstarch uh, today uh, but I will add some more tomato ketchup now also you want to taste the sauce use salt and pepper um, for flavoring if you like your pepper shrimp spicy then go ahead and add some more pepper sauce. Today I'm not making it too much spicy because I'm making it for a bunch of people, not just for myself. So everybody has different taste buds. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the hot pepper back in there just to give it that hot pepper flavor, but not all the pepper spice. So we're gonna put the lid back on and cook this for probably another 10 minutes or so, and then we should be done. So there it is. It's about 10 to 20 minutes later. Um, sometimes you can cook it down a little bit more. Um, for the darker color, I added a little bit of soy sauce just to give a little bit more of a darker color and add that little bit of that soy sauce saltiness. But pretty much that's it. This is our pepper shrimp. Now the next thing I'd suggest you do is if you want it sauce, like if you need more rice or anything like that, keep it with this amount of sauce. But if you're just going to eat it um, on the side with another dish, definitely go ahead and let the sauce dry down. I'm going to let this cook down probably for about a minute more but pretty much that's it this is my recipe on Trinidad pepper shrimp the only thing I would suggest is a nice big plate of rice a side of macaroni pie and some of this sauce and drape it all over it maybe some red beans as well but anyway it's what's in the pot I'm your host Sean Grande thank you for tuning in so thank you for tuning in to another episode of what's in the pot I'm your host Sean Grande and that is my Trinidad pepper shrimp recipe Please like, comment, share with your friends, share with your family members. Let me know what you think. If you try the recipe or you want me to make a recipe, go ahead and you know shoot me a message in the comment button below and I'll go ahead and try to make that. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at What's In D-E-P-O-T. So What's In The Pot, I'm your host Sean Grande. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.